Okay, I'm doing another quick one, and, and while I'm thinking about it real quick, you know, I was referring to a, an Austin Powers movie. Uh, there's a scene, and there's a person in the wheelbarrow, and um, has similarities of uh, uh, some uh, color code thing, yeah, about the, uh, yeah, in that way. So anyway, I'll get on that maybe later, but the thing with this is that the, I'm thinking about it because, you know, the wheelbarrow is half the America's 147, okay? Like Robert E. Rubin, I was trying to remember. I was just kind of like a <clears throat> a real quick thought that was going through my mind, but I wanted to include the alphameric thing about the the wheelbarrow and and likewise uh, the asteroid. What used to be the asteroid thing? This being the year 2023, and um, very very many years ago, asteroid. Actually, I was think was um, I'm not really sure, but something about the Six Flags was involved with the uh, asteroid thing, and I'm not sure if actually uh, Six Flags. Uh, relocated Astro World or what the deal was and, and I'm not going to go off into that right now but it was about the Six Flags um, I think is um, uh, representative of like a, an amusement park like Astro World and I think it's Dallas for some reason but anyway as, anyway, I don't want to get off on that right now but I'm going to remember the Six Flags about the Astro World and the Barrel of Fun okay and the wheelbarrow in the Austin Powers movie because uh, uh, the Alpha Merrick's 147 and Robert E. Rubin and ultimately you know the Alpha Merrick's of 109 is 110 is 247 Okay, that way, and, and with the power of square, it is to like a, the radius of a century being 100, ultimately getting to, you know, the simple fact of, you know, identifying, you know, uh, addition of, of the same value uh, being 200 in a bicentennial celebration of the year, uh, celebration of the 200 year celebration of America and all that stuff about Independence Day and Fourth of July and uh, some factors of Benjamin Franklin and, you know, all that stuff about, uh, Quite a bit uh, about the Declaration of Independence and all that stuff. Well, anyway, it's kind of like a asteroid. Uh, I would mentioned it. I'm going to mention it again real quick. That the the, the barrel of fun. It was like because of a, a song, likewise of uh, Gary Wright. And it was kind of like I was thinking about it because uh, many other factors and uh, you know television game show uh, Will of Fortune and and certain factors that would kind of suggest the practical application in a way, but not necessarily really other than maybe an analytical and beyond that maybe. Maybe some deal about it, but I hadn't thought too much about that. But anyway, I thought I'd mention that real quick because uh, the thing with this is that the in processing speed of attenuation is ultimately, you know, the alphameric value, the alphameric value of 140, likewise the alphameric itself in that and Pearland, Texas and, and, and all that stuff about that. Uh, I mean, if it's going to really ultimately get to a, a, a Robert E. Rubin issue, so like just um, suggesting um, two presidents of like Theodore de Franklin, uh, of the Roosevelt New Deal Act, or what the, you know, six terms in office, or the difference of uh, um, Roosevelt being, you know, 131, like the power squared of uh, simple addition being 131 twice, okay, um, being alpha marks of 262, or 100, like a representative of um, a bicentennial, uh, power squared being 200, like a quarter dollar, or the bicentennial quarter. Uh, or Bicentennial Drummer, or, you know, the Bicentennial Pentagon, or, you know, the Alphamers of 92 and Calculus, Bicentennial Calculus, or Chevrolet Calculus, and, uh, you know, and all that stuff about the Alphamers and the Operator, and considerable amount of what I've been referring to uh, on my YouTube.com channel, Wade ASV, Pretty P-R-I-D-D-Y, and Wade ASV, Pretty P-R-I-D-D-Y, 192. The thing with this is that I was thinking about that, because Robert E. Rubin seems to be uh, uh, the significance of, Likewise, in addition to the tribe of Reuben in King James Version Bible, um, the similarities of um, um, the Book of Mormon, the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints, uh, and other factors that I'm, I'm not going to debate and get off into that right now, but yeah, it seems to be, you know, distinguishing the thing about, you know, uh, uh, the American um, religion, the, the Book of Mormon, okay? Being 88 in California and other factors of 88, or Oldsmobile Delta 88, what that is to in the Delta Force representative of some symbolic representation of Delta being the triangle and what that is to the biggest mouth of the river and, and schematics and, and, and electronic engineering that way or um, you know what the triangle is uh, uh, even to the power squared and you know the Star of David in Israel and the code blue thing about the uh, Star of Israel, the, the flag, uh, the Star of David and Israeli flag and all the Alpha Americas is, is really being 73 and Harris and Union and Super Mountain, the Houston, Texas area. But anyway, yeah, so I like thinking about that because uh, I wanted to mention that about attenuation, about processing speed, because um, it's showing right now, um, the only that I'm aware of is like 24, 48, 72, and 96. Um, 
levels of processing speed that would be a set standard. Um, you know, like the 24 being like <laughs> the deal of like a, you know, the, the redundant frequency, the RF, or the, you know, thing about the difference between uh, the Reese's statute and um, the IRA being like the SE and pronunciation of language like would mean yes and SE still being 24 that way or what that is to the whole Homeown Owners Association 24 and a GMAC of promissory notes and a, the thing about it and getting to the IEEE of the International Electrical Electronic Engineering the big old thing getting to 39 well anyway it's kind of like the deal about it but anyway it's kind of like the the forefathers of the nation, and, and, and with binaries, only using two numbers, sequencing characterization is as a four. Okay, and, and, and signal processing um, um, that of waveform, what attenuation is involving waveform in special effects as compared to maybe just measuring cycles per second oscillation of frequency, of, of frequency, not necessarily special effects of waveform. And, and the same difference of identifying whether of 24 or 48 or 72 or 96 is a factor or identifies that. I'm actually going to have to, you know, I just thought I'd mention this real quick before I actually go off and maybe <laughs> talk a little bit, you know, too soon about this particular issue involving the, the 24, the, the 48, the 72, and the 96 of processing speed of attenuation. Uh, uh, if they're just identifying factors of like standardization and really I mean it's obvious as it may seem I'm, I mean just knowing that much about it I mean it would almost look that way how true it is and which is applicable or integratable or interchangeable if at all or you know uh, uh, or compatible with like measuring cycles per second uh, a frequency, uh, measuring frequency in cycles per second in oscillation as compared to waveform the thing of it is is that that if there's the integrating compatible factor of like practical application that way, based upon principle itself and, and something I've really I've been thinking about, but uh, obviously, I mean, you know, the 24, the, the 48, 72, and 96, I mean, it would almost give the impression of, of equal, um, um, I wouldn't say sequencing because it's incremented if that's going to be the deal. And the thing with it is, is that I was referring to um, uh, the processing speed of attenuation and the thing about the uh, attenuation being processing speed and what all is involved with it as compared to you know, the, the UA thing uh, in the word uh, attenuation being like a, a, the U21 or the A1 and the 20 do deal the 22 thing about the 20 being the alphanumerics of like 107 uh, and the 2 being the alphanumerics of 58 or the star the father and other factors and in and, and, and that way and what all, what all that seems to be of the airborne and the stars born thing uh, seemed to be like the big deal about uh, international financial management that way of the, the SAN software. And the acronym being, you know, like the equator and the uh, degree level uh, as compared to what only might seem to be an RF frequency of like a grid. Or not necessarily uh, identifying what residential normally would be suggested uh, based upon a frequency of, um, you know, signal strength. And it's something I've been really looking at because I'm really looking. Uh, uh, about factors about like a commercial venue living quarters and what the deal is about signal strength as compared to from residential to like a living in um, yeah a, a commercial building a venue living quarter and and if it needs to be the the, the factor or what signal strength is you know it's like <laughs> like I'm all about you know really like really want it like that but the thing with this is that uh, thinking about it, it's kind of like something really I never really considered for really and and i've been focusing more on you know like audio production and music video that way or you know the whole deal about you know having accommodations for like everything about touring concerts and sales promotions distribution and and audio production music video and you know live concert touring or whatever the case may be and you know i was thinking like five floors or whatever the case may be. But what i'm really thinking about is whether or not if the rf redundant frequency um it's like a grid or what international law of having fair use would only suggest as liquidal equity or maybe hadn't accomplished the degree level of some of the highest standards and that's what I was thinking about if it's the deal uh, if the frequency is going to be an automatic airborne thing even even a religious thing of, of yeah baptism and a spiritual experience and, and, and like a, a telepathic mediation representative of the symbolic side backside of the US one dollar bill or what that is to airborne and like the mental telepathy minus God thing and being the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, the Secret Service, and all that stuff, and the Alpha Marriage 107 seven of a telepathic power, minus 26, and, and you know, the, the God game card, and uh, I really don't want to say lie. Oh, no, not to lie. Oh, my God, no. 
<laughs> yeah, but anyway, okay. So anyway, so I was kind of like thinking about that as, as far as like a, what a miracle is or is not to the news or even religious in a way of, um, you know, uh, maybe a little bit something more than a, a, a con confrontational thing about the, getting above it all. I was thinking about that as far as like commercial venue of living quarters. Um, I mean, it seemed to be like whether or not if it really the redundant frequency in residential areas only a signal strength issue. And so, I mean, is it is it uh, based upon, um, um, you know, what we, would would be normally like a, a more of a surface type of issue, not even an isometric factor, even a method of banking in a way of like most people might not even see a local bank or a local area network uh, involving a bank or um, what what isometrics of like human capital uh, uh, as compared to um, human civil rights. And, and I mean, you know, I mean, when and where civil rights is just a practical application of, you know, uh, the real deal of some academics um, uh, or, you know, uh, defining the meaning and, and process of, you know, uh, alphamerics and linguistics or geographics, religion and all the terminology and practical application and integration and, and electronic power, I mean, of circuits and, and electrical that way of like color codes and what that is to like Saturn sky, you know, I have a little bit of humor about, you know, the VSAT and uh, Saturn sky, onion thing and, you know, all that stuff. And I, well, you know, I, I can't believe it's butter anyway. And, and my toilet doesn't require rid of habeas corpus. But anyway, yeah, you know, uh, the thing with this is that um, ultimately it seems to be, you know, uh, some thought about, um, you know, what domiciled residence is uh, or head of household, you know, and all that humor is really, I mean, Ridiculously, I mean, sometimes I mean so much to answer, and the humor's there, but you know, um, it doesn't really have to be humor. But I mean, I mean, it's like some like for real brain work about it at the same time, and it's really, really not intended to be, you know, anything really other than humor. But yeah, at the same time, it's like I mean, so not funny about the reality. Uh, obviously, you know what it is in many ways, so, you know about it. But anyway, yeah. So um, yeah. So like I was thinking about that because the uh, the um, the streaming part about um. Uh, turning circles and and what that is to uh, what might present uh, uh, an interruption, or um, if it's only um, representative of maybe a, a digital processing speed, when when the circle is like on a touch screen and it's kind of like a it's processing but it's like it's on hold but it doesn't necessarily show a pause um, like the two vertical bars uh, or, or or a pending function in in a circular form. Um, you know, pending uh, yet not the pause, uh, and, and it's almost like a a, a, a a standby as compared to a pause. With you know, you would see the two vertical about that with a that would almost be representative of the absolute values, like a that's simply and easily found, like an algebra all the way you know through calculus on into quantum that way, and what the algorithm is or is not during you know all that, and uh, the, <laughs> my think about the the line. <clears throat> of you know, um, <laughs> seemingly it gets to the greater less than deal about the uh, the triangle, and the power factor of like you know the star of David and the cold blue thing about Israel and what Israel is to you know Christianity or going you know beyond <laughs> the thing about the equator and the operator and getting to the thousand years of peace of Zion and zero and the operator and the several a bicentennial thing about the you know all that stuff about the alphabetics of hundred and eight and. Um, Get it into like a you know the separation of church and state at a minimum of like a the Grover Cleveland U.S. one thousand dollar and the 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 design of the thousand years of peace of like a Christian religion and all that and and it's like there's like a huge there's a lot more but the thing is I mean if there's a grade to be made you know well you know I'm looking at um you know being as, as smart about it right here on YouTube.com on my channel Wade ASV pretty P R I D D Y um. And Wade ASV, pretty P-R-I-D-D-Y, 192. The thing with it is, is that really, a, I think about that as far as like a, a, a commercial living venue, living quarter. Uh, and, and I don't know if altitude is really going to be the deal about the, um, um, an altimeter in the way of like a, 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 what signal strength is, or a level, or what presents the plain horizon based upon the clarity or... Um, what would be uh, on a surface of, of like a local area network? Um, I don't want to call it obstruction, um, and if and if that's really the only thing that many people probably haven't heard their whole entire life, if it's the one and only practical application, obstruction of justice. I mean, not 
in any kind of way other than, you know, a, a LAN, a local area network, or a, a redundant frequency in a way of what a grid would, might only look like on a surface, or even an amphibious thing uh, 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 beyond the front lines of the beachfront or international financial management in the terms of SAN software or beyond the front lines of the beachfront. <clears throat> the same as in the difference of what liquid equity might only suggest as um, internet's law of having fair use of, you know, access easement predominantly, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the thought of uh, a residential area, even entire neighborhoods, um, uh, and, and what degree is uh, participating in the circuit as compared to what might only appear uh, to be uh, a, 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 a different type, of, you know, I don't know if I'd use the word economic level or uh, a, a wealth management to maybe, you know, suggest that uh, a degree level of only what opportunity might mean as, as a neighborhood. Uh, some neighborhoods are thoroughly segregated and, and some people's perception of chartering, districting, and zoning might only be the opportunity below the um, the degree uh, level as compared to you know the equator operator what, what what really the degree is and having fair use of what only opportunity means of like maybe a non degree or uh, what fair use is to um, you know I mean if it's a service you know just because of a, a Christianity thing or you know <laughs> being praised or you know what appraisal means in, in real estate law as compared to um, what a fixture might only seem to be like um, as a, a means of like a, you know, I don't know if I really should even suggest a, a fixture being used in real estate as as a deed restriction. My thing of it is, is that the thing, um, there's, I mean, if it's not communication within a, a, a neighborhood or, or anything uh, in a way, and my thing about Sarbanes Sox, Sarbanes Financial Instruments of Sox Compliance, okay, Sarbanes and Oxley Financial Instruments of Sox Compliance. My thing, you know, automatically it's like a baseball thing, a red and white thing of the uh, Red Sox and White Sox, okay? And somewhere between Boston and Chicago and, and, and some reality about uh, a central time zone of like Chicago and, and you know, uh, some uh, factors of like what a, a headquarter of a central time zone is in that way of, of Chicago. Um, and what a time zone really is, and, 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 and Boeing being like a, a major, if not the one of the entire United States of Chicago in that way. And the thing with this is that um, here in the Pearland, Texas area, Houston, Texas area, uh, Bay Area Boulevard, okay, there's like a, IBM used to be like a right on a, a, a bending like type of, um, not really a corner, but you know, kind of like a curve. Um, IBM and it turned into Boeing, and I hadn't been out that way in quite some time. Um, in that way, and the thing about it is that the uh, 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 intelligent business machines, or <clears throat> what that is to international business machines, and you know the, the thing about you know that the acronym really is the acronym. You know the Alpharetta 152 being like international and like a telepathic heart, and and all that about uh, Alpharetta 152, like you know the word international, and most people might think that. Uh, uh, intelligent or intelligence um, business machine might be an automatic perception of uh, uh, IBM, not necessarily the acronym itself, and and and, and it, it being the the international bureau um, thing about it, and, and the M thing and what that is the thirteen uh, and the aftermarks of thirteen, the word itself being ninety nine and telepathic that way, and what the deal is about a telepathic heart with international. And bureau in the way of what 68 is to even a house, okay? And and the M just being the M in the 13th letter, you know, uh, and 13 being spelled out being 99 and all telepathic in that way. Also getting to, yes, the syllable and the TP thing about, you know, chasing oil and the Indian thing. Also getting to the TP thing, oh yeah, and the Statue of Liberty all over again and into the Euro dollar thing and all that stuff about the atmosphere and the seven layers. And I've seen it, you know, just been like on and on. Um, like the seven layers of the atmosphere, and there's like the deal about the outer layer being the ionosphere again, okay, the I being the ninth letter. And it's almost like the weekend issue, like uh, the difference between seven layers of the atmosphere and the outer layer being the I, the ionosphere, and and the difference of like really two that way. Uh, and what a star is born, uh, a star is born is to, you know, the, the airborne and, and being amphibious, you know, at a minimum. Uh, uh, being above, you know, like the the deal about what uh, 
the rapture and, and, and after the resurrection ascending and re-entering the heaven thing is as compared to the same principle of like the second coming returning to Christ in the form of the rapture and what Amphibious is even to some suggestion of a you know the book of Leviticus of the tribe of Levi and some levitation in, in that way but anyway yeah so like uh, I was thinking about like all that stuff okay but I was wanting to mention that because uh, I was actually uh, getting off into the uh, part about the identifying something about the uh, about the the barrel of fun at Astroworld and the six flags and and I just really just now thought about it because the six flags are you know somewhere in between like a um, Theodore to Franklin Roosevelt it's like the six terms in presidential um, yeah six presidential um, terms in office um, that way or you know like the deal about the the World Trade Center um, uh, 9 11 okay and and it being like uh, 9 1 1 being like emergency and out emergency and 95 and the 1995 thing to the year 2021 and and a, a six-year difference between you know uh, that fact and what television networking is I mean you know at a presidential or a governor or even a vice president or, <clears throat> or what might even represent maybe a sole proprietorship in space exploration and whether or not I mean if an entire satellite network of television could even be considered a closed circuit uh, as compared to you know a VPN being a vice president of uh, uh, be a plenty potentiary network or you know the the the, the VPN being 52 like the heart okay and like pearl uh and something about the you know the pearly is a heaven and streets of gold thing and and what that is to uh you know painting for gold and it's it, once again it's like getting like in between like the history of like the television screen being like in the middle of it all like between like Wyatt Earp and John Wayne and, and right in the middle of it, it seems to be like the hop scene thing of the walk um, not necessarily paying for for gold, but that seemed to be the issue in the Wyatt Earp and the John Wayne movies is during the gold rush and paying for gold. Yet uh, the Oriental Chef of Hopsey, that way, and what Mugu Guy Pan is is like a Carl Malden thing. Hey, don't leave it home, don't leave it home without your egg wise, you know. But I mean, if it's like really directing traffic and leaving the egg yolk at home, I mean, why that Mugu Guy Pan is really white? And think about you know uh, getting across the rivers like a bridge and and many bridges like a. Um, and, and the Ark of the Covenant, or like St. Louis in that way with the white Ark, it seems to be, I mean, so much about Hopsang in that way and, and and something about the history of television and Technicolor uh, and every color in Technicolor is pastel. Uh, that way being 73 pastel and like Harris and, and Egypt and, and Israeli uh, that way. And it's like all the connectivity is like there that way. So, I mean, you know, there's like a lot of stuff that I was thinking about because of a... Uh, um, you know, I'd heard that song from Gary Wright, uh, uh, Love is Alive and uh, Dreamweaver. It's like a very complex song. I mean, all the way back in the early 70s. And really, when I started here in the last several years, really, I'm, I just remembered it. I mean, it's not that I forgot about it, but I decided to like make a music video like uh, of those two songs. And it's like like really complex. It's actually, you know, when when I was young, it sounded like, like simple. <laughs> and really, it's really, really... Uh, that far back like even Boston that's like one of the bands like it's like way in the earliest it's like very complex but uh yeah but like it sounds so smooth and simple it's unreal but anyway yeah but uh I just want to say that because um uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, uh, the the phrase about the um in the Gary Wright song Love is Alive uh, uh, my soul is like a wheel that's turning okay an astral uh, barrel of fun and and uh, the movie Austin Powers is it's a very brief moment of um, a, 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 a person in a wheelbarrow and uh, she is uh, uh, there at the and I'm actually trying to remember actually, actually I went back to look for it, but it seemed to me that it seemed to be like a similarity thing I've had like okay like I live in Paraland Texas and I've had like a similarity thing of like appearance and uh, <laughs> yeah in such a way that's like ridiculously not humorous to me at all but anyway yeah so I've had like a lot of similarity thing looking at me before right. But anyway, yeah, so, um, in that way, so, I, you know, I was kind of, like, thinking about that one particular thing about the wheelbarrow, um, being, like, the alchemist of 147, because my, my thing about going through the circuit is, like, Robert E. Rubin was just, like, there, and, and, and like, a hard god, and, like, a baptism thing, and, and, uh, and, and like, getting an airborne thing about, above, you know, of, like, a, the mental telepathy thing, of, like, a telepathic, spiritually gifted telepathic easement in the sky that way, and what airborne is to the Air Force, and, 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 you know, I wouldn't necessarily leave it at a religious thing, 
Um, but it seems to me, I mean, exactly what that symbolic representation between the Anuit and the C and the symbolic symbol, uh, uh, then PTIS, PTIS being 64 in American, ACTP of the colon double forward slash in that way. Um, and what Zion is, the 64 and zero in the operator, and a thousand years of peace that way, ultimately getting to Grover Cleveland, the US thousand dollar, and the separation between church and state. I mean, to me, it would be the automatic assumption that, I mean, it'd be at a minimum in that way. So, um, you know, so I mean, I still want to include that because of the, the alphameric's of, of Robert E. Rubin being 147 in the wheelbarrow, what the barrel of fun of Astroworld is to the six six flags hanging up in an amusement park, yet between, like, you know, the Roosevelt New Deal Act, okay, and, and the New Deal being 64 and the New Deal Act being 88, or, you know, the ultimate bill Delta 88 in that way, and ultimately getting to, you know, uh, the Delta Force and what that is, um, uh, uh, of symbolic schematics of electronic being the triangle, even sororities, um, how true for turn to use it. Um, and, you know, many degree graduate alumni, sometimes you'll see the Alpha Kappa Phi thing, um, or the Sigma Alpha <laughs> Kappa Phi, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, and, and, and there's a certain sequence of it. It's like uh, all about signal processing and audio beyond. Um, in the waveform factor of, of what all that is at certain levels of, of degree graduates uh, that um, seem to be ultimately getting to like the exclusion of rule provision in a way of like executive powers, sovereign immunity, and governmental amnesties, and what that work curriculum is. Uh, the real deal about you know some major universities that's uh, really really it that way. But anyway, yeah. So um, the thing with this is that. Um, yeah, I wanted to keep that in mind. It's already going on like, God, 26 minutes and like 50 seconds right now. And I think I'm going to just leave right that and, and think about it real quick. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to mention that because, uh, you know, something about the, the 12 tribes of Israel, once again, and Robert, e, Robert e. Rubin, the U.S. Secretary of Treasury, the name in Alphamerics itself, okay? And I know that some positions are, are um, made that way, uh, whether the position is um, <laughs> like Paraland Texas, hey, it's like, a, you know, just, just kind of like a similarity of... Uh, <laughs> appearance, yeah, or, you know, maybe not, it's like, you know, hey, like, uh, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, for real, so anyway, so, like, um, the thing about it is, is that, um, the tribe of Israel being, like, the, once again, you know, the tribe of Reuben, and now from America's 69, the way it's spelled in the King James Version Bible, okay, uh, being 69, and all that good stuff, okay, and once again, yeah, and the thing about E. Reuben being the 64 and the 5, the E5 and the, the Reuben 64, and ultimately, you know, the 64 ACTP colon double four slash in America and Israel. And and then the E thing uh, being 69, Texas, Mexico, and all that history of the U.S. dollar below the equator and legal terminology normally associated in Latin. In my mind, you know, through like years of like studying, it would uh, it led to the thought of, uh, you know, something about the Notre Dame in that way and color code. Um, very much so about something to below the equator in the history of the U.S. all in the book Secrets of the Temple, how the Federal Reserve runs the country. Well, anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, and what that is to, like, Sox and Goldman or, you know, something about, about my mind of the history of the, the television screen, uh, ultimately of, like, monochrome and a silver silk screen and, and what contrast is, you know, uh, and the black and white thing uh, as compared to, you know, the Technicolor and a pastel thing. Uh, somewhere between, in my mind, you know, the, the Wyatt Earp and the John Wayne and getting you know beyond you know and hop scenes kind of like you know like like the like the technicolor and pastel about you know what's on the menu thing right and programming right but anyway it's kind of like a a difference of like jaywalking and being amphibious that way of what normally jaywalking would suggest but you know uh, being the amphibious thing about the jaywalk is like a a stationary deal of like um amphibious thing and it's not really jaywalking at all it's, it's the deal about uh you know, the amphibious thing about J. Edgar Hoover that way, and the, 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 the jaywalk is not a jaywalk, it's like a, a hovering Hoover, J. Edgar Hoover thing about where it originates is available information that way, um, going, you know, my thought beyond of, of Rangers that way. <clears throat> and in any case, yeah, so look, I thought I'd include that real quick, because, uh, yeah, um, anyway, yeah, it's, it's already going on like 29 minutes and 35 seconds but anyway yeah I'm, I'm gonna stop right there and, and think about if I'm gonna do any more it's, it's kind of like a really I need to do a little bit of uh, some other things right now so anyway I'm gonna take a break and uh yeah maybe do a little more later talk to you later